These charges come after a nearly year-long investigation from Virginia State Police and a special prosecutor, but the senator is denying any wrongdoing. That is not 40 feet away. This video outside the Powhatan Community Center on Election Day 2019 for Joe Morrissey is now part of a criminal case against Virginia State Senator Joe Morrissey. He was arraigned on Thursday on three class one misdemeanor charges for his alleged actions that day at the center, which was acting as a polling location. At the request of the Richmond Commonwealth's Attorney's Office and with approval from Virginia's Attorney General, Virginia State Police launched an investigation in December 2019, but a criminal complaint would not be filed until October 30th of this year. It alleges that Morrissey violated a section of Virginia code pertaining to activities at a polling location. It claims Morrissey, among other things, held up voters as he was inside the polling place, giving out donuts and taking photos with staff. He's also accused of standing outside the building, but within the 40-foot zone where campaigning is not allowed, greeting voters and telling them he's running. CBS 6 legal analyst Todd Stone says the crux of this case will hang on what the prosecution can prove Morrissey did while in what he called the sacred space of the polling place. Trying to sway voters, um, you know, in that area because that is a forbidden place on election day to do campaigning. CBS 6 political analyst Dr. Bob Holsworth says Morrissey may try to focus on a technicality and say he was handing out donuts, not campaign literature, but says this could have been handled the day in question by poll workers telling Morrissey to stop. Make it clear about uh, what the rules are, where you can stand, where you can't stand, uh, and what you can't do uh, inside the, um, the polling place. Speaking to CBS 6 by phone, Morrissey denied any wrongdoing that day and said the campaign workers would say the allegations were false. He says he's unaware of anyone being prosecuted under this section of the Virginia Code and also questions the timing of the charges. Morrissey, a lawyer who has been disbarred, said he would co-represent himself in this case and plan to file two motions to dismiss it, one for the delay and for what he calls selective prosecution. But again, this case is being handled by a special prosecutor from the New Kent County Commonwealth Attorney's Office. The Richmond Commonwealth Attorney tells me that she requested a special prosecutor because she had known Morrissey for decades, and he actually hired her back when he was the CA, and she didn't want she did not want even the appearance of impropriety.